everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this week's video we will compare Zoho Desk to Fresh Desk and decide which one is better to use for your business for automating customer service processes. Before we begin this video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button because we produce a lot of useful content for you, so make sure not to miss any of the videos that we make. And let's start off with Freshdesk. Freshdesk is designed to help businesses deliver exceptional customer support and streamline support operations. Freshdesk enables businesses to manage customer inquiries from email, chat, social media, and phone in centralized inbox. Users can create and manage support tickets, track their statues, and categorize them for better organization. Freshdesk also provides customizable knowledge base and self-service portals for customers to find answers independently. You can automate repetitive tasks and workflows such as ticket assignment, routing, and follow-up to improve the efficiency. Freshdesk offers AI-driven features like chatbots and virtual assistants to handle routine queries and offer 24-7 support. Let's move on to Zoho Desk, which is a cloud-based customer support and help desk software designed to assist businesses in managing customer inquiries and providing efficient support. Zoho Desk allows businesses to consolidate customer inquiries from various communication channels such as email, social media, chat and phone into single unified dashboard. Users can create, track and prioritize customer support tickets. The system offers automation rules to route tickets to the right agents and teams based on predefined criteria. Zoho Desk also offers no knowledge base and self-service portals where customers can find answers to common questions and issues without contacting support agents. It also integrates seamlessly with Zoho apps and third-party developer apps. And now let's move on to features comparison and see which software provides a more comprehensive set of features and functions to automate the customer service processes in your business. Also, before we begin this comparison, make sure to see the other comparison of Zoho Desk with Zendesk, another very popular tool on the market. I will leave the link here in the corner and down below in the description box. And our first criteria for comparison will be omnichannel support. Both of the softwares offer email, live chat and web forms, and telephony and Instagram DMs are paid on in Freshdesk. Both Zoho Desk and Freshdesk also offer support via WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook feed and Facebook Messenger, and Telegram, WeChat and Line in Freshdesk is additional paid on. If we're talking about the agent productivity, both of the softwares offer such features as suggested articles, merge tickets, split tickets, ticket timeline, and time entry. Zoho Desk has inbuilt function of cloning tickets, and for that function, you need a marketplace extension in Freshdesk. In addition to that, there are some features that Zoho Desk has and Freshdesk lacks, such as quick ticket view, search face set, work mode, and agent collision chat. If we're talking about the self-service, both Zoho Desk and Freshdesk offer a comprehensive set of features such as knowledge base, multilingual knowledge base, community and guided conversation, but Freshdesk lacks the feature of ASAP. Moving on to AI, Zoho Desk offers a lot of built-in features that Freshdesk offer as additional paid-ons like reply assistant, sentimental predictions, NML and notifications, KB conversation assistant, and Zia answer bot. For automation, both of the software products offer a lot of useful features such as multi-level escalations, customer-based SLA, round-robin ticket assignment by load balancing, but Freshdesk lacks the feature of custom function in workflows and also activity time tracking and blueprints are not available in Freshdesk. If we're talking about the customization options, both of the software products offer custom form fields and layouts, and also customizing the field dependencies. Freshdesk lacks the features of customizing the tabs and department specific layout. It also doesn't have such features for customization as Teams, Night Mode, and displaying the screen settings. And moving on to analytics, both of the platforms have great analytic capabilities with features such as SLA dashboards, agent dashboards, custom dashboards, response resolution and FCR dashboards, but Freshdesk lacks the feature of Radar mobile app for managers for iOS and Android that Zoho Desk provides. And now it's time obviously to compare the pricing of both of the software products. So Freshdesk offers a 14-day free trial and also offers three different pricing plans starting from $15 per agent per month, the next one is $49 and the most expensive one is $79 per agent per month. 
Zoha Desk also offers three main pricing plans. The standard one starts from 14 euros per user per month, professional is 23 euros per user per month, and enterprise is 40 euros per user per month. But it also offers a cheaper pricing plan, which is 7 euros per user per month, that includes ticketing, social media, and analytics. And it also has a 14 days free trial that you can find by the link down below in the description box. As you can see, Zoho Desk is a bit cheaper than Fresh Desk, although it offers the same set and even more features in the set of the tools within the software. And now let's make the conclusions of the video. Both of the software products provide a comprehensive set of the tools to manage the business processes. Fresh Desk also offers quite affordable price plans on the markets as well as Zoho Desk. But if you want to make a system of apps with seamless integrations, I would highly recommend trying out Zoho Desk that you can seamlessly integrate with Zoho CRM and other apps, for example, Zoho Sales IQ, to have a full on working business process of sales and marketing in one place. And that will help you to manage your business and see all of the analytics in one place much more easily other than having a fresh desk and then connecting it to other CRM systems and other software products. So I think Zoho Desk is a winner in that sense of collaboration and integration with other apps. If you want to try Zoho Desk, I will leave the link to a free trial down below in the description box. You can try it out, see how you like it. And then if you want, you can purchase a paid on plan. And also, if you have any questions about the integration or customization or implementation of any of the Zoho apps, you can book a free 30 minute consultation with one of our experts by the link also down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. Please write in the comments below which software would you prefer to use and which software you like most. Or you can leave also some questions that you may have and we will answer them in the comments down below. And again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button because we make tons of useful content for you every single week.